two scoops. That's unbelievably good. Lactose and I are not good friends, but this is worth it. This is absolutely worth it. Flynn Dog Science with me, Caleb Flynn. Subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell. What's up, science lovers? Today we're going to be making a delicious and insightful experiment. Chocolate marshmallow Oreo ice cream. Let's get started. Our main ingredients today that we're going to need are half and half dark chocolate flavor Oreos. Just tried them, thought I'd have one. Now look at how many there are. Kinda ate half of them. Colorful marshmallows. Sugar, since we don't have enough already, you'll need a little bit of salt, a little bag, and a big bag. For measuring, I use a red Dixie and a little Dixie. And because chocolate is rarely chocolatey enough for me, dark chocolate powder. Spoon, couple thermometers for science, and ice. Let's get started. You'll need two red Dixie cups in your big bag. And if you want, you can add just a little extra ice. That won't hurt anything. Next, we need our half and half. The half and half goes in your little plastic bag. Before I put the half and half in, I'm gonna put the sugar in. My rule for sugar is to use one quarter the amount of half and half. So I use two Dixie cups full of half and half, so I'm gonna use half a Dixie cup for sugar. Now since I'm putting some fun fixings in, I'm gonna put those in before I put my half and half in also. Let's start out with dark chocolate powder. I like it pretty chocolatey. One scoop, two scoops. Half a scoop. My daughter's all about the colorful marshmallows. So let's put some colorful marshmallows in. Now let's put what's left of these dark chocolate Oreos. They are extremely good. They also have the mint ones that are really good also. And regular Oreos are not a loser by themselves. I'm gonna put three in and squish them. Okay, got all my fixings now. Now I'm gonna put in two Dixie cups of half and half. If you wanna do it really basic and easy, you can just put the sugar in, the half and half, and a teaspoon of vanilla. That's about one of these full of vanilla. And that's really tasty also. One. Two. I'm gonna put just a tiny more since I put so many fixings in this one. Put a, about a half more. And then I'm gonna mix it all up. If you let the air out, you can get a better mix. We'll mix it up really good. And then we need to put our salt in. And we'll look at what all these ingredients do in just a minute when we check out why this experiment's happening. I'm gonna put one Dixie of salt in here. What do you think the salt does to the ice? What's salt do to ice in your experience? And if you want, you could put a little more. So I did about two Dixies. Really don't need that much salt, but why not? Oh, I hear the ice, can you hear? It's crackling. What do you think's going on? What's the ice doing? Now I'm gonna put this in. And I'm gonna start shaking it. I'm actually gonna double bag this, just in case it breaks. My bag was feeling a little flimsy, so I'm gonna put it in another bag. There's one result I think we'll still be able to see. All right, let's mix it. Usually it takes seven or eight minutes. You start mixing yours. If your hands start getting too cold, get a pair of oven mitts to put on so you don't chill your fingers too much. Now, what do you want to start noticing? First thing I want you to notice is what's happening to your ice. Can you see that? There's a bunch of liquid down there. Isn't that cool? 
You're like, yeah, it's not really cool. It's just ice melting. It is cool because what's starting to happen to the ice cream? It's starting to freeze. One thing is melting while the other thing is freezing. Now the ice is melting, so you think it would be warming up. What's happening to the ice cream though? It's starting to get solid. If the ice is melting, why wouldn't the ice cream melt too? What's going on that allows the ice cream to freeze while the ice melts? That's what we're gonna explore at the end when we get to our notes. So don't leave once you got your tasty treat. Let's figure it out why we eat our ice cream. It's getting cold. Now, one thing I've noticed, I had to put my mitts on because it's getting so cold. It's getting colder as it's melting. That is really trippy and kind of counterintuitive to me. If something melts, shouldn't it be getting warmer? Is the outside of your bag getting wet yet? That's a cool thing that's going on. If the outside of your bag is getting wet, have you noticed anything happening to that condensation on the outside of your bag? A lot of my ice was melting, so I'm gonna put a little more in. Try to mix it all in with that salty ice that's already in there. If it gets really airy, you just let a little air out. You can be thinking about how good it's gonna taste. Or if lactose isn't your friend, you can be thinking about how bad it's gonna be for the people around you once you eat it. My ice cream is now fairly firm. I'm gonna put it in a clear cup so we can see it, and I wanna try it. How's yours looking? What I did for mine that ended up, maybe it will help you a little bit too if yours is staying a little mushy, is I just set it in my salty ice water here for probably like three, four minutes and just let it firm up. So let's see if that did much to help out. It seemed to help mine firm up. Oh. Look at that. Can you see that? It looks so good. You could put some almonds or something in there. I didn't think about that. Tricky getting this ice cream out. Look at this. Let's top it off. Oh man, that looks incredible. Here's the moment of truth. Let's see. I'm gonna get a green marshmallow here. That's unbelievably good. Lactose and I are not good friends, but this is worth it. This is absolutely worth it. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try another bite. I wasn't even gonna try it. I was gonna do some fade out or something, but this is so good. You have to try this. You, you really have to try it. Don't just watch this. You have to make this. It's like the best dark chocolate ice cream I've ever eaten. Oh man. You have your homework tonight. You know what you gotta do. Wow. Happy sciencing. My stomach is gonna hurt. But I can't stop. It's so good. This is the last bite.